Yeah, to be chosen to play Willy Wonka in the first place is a great honor. But to be chosen by Tim is, uh, is uh, double the honor, triple the honor. Charlie himself is just a, a very much like Freddie Highmore. He's just a kind of an angel, you know, kind of this very pure being. It's kind of like the factory itself is like walking uh, through Wonka's brain. Um, complicated, strange, fun, um, disturbing, um, outrageous, you know? Um, yeah, I think it's a guy who's got, who's, who's had way too much spare time and, uh, probably made way too much money, you know? Everything in terms of sets and um, I mean everything that Alex looked at, designed, drew, touched, leaned against is, uh, is uh, in my mind, in my eyes, a masterpiece. Everything that, that we're sitting uh, near in this room is, is an absolute masterpiece and is for me, I mean, every set that I've been on is a kind of a shame that it doesn't go into some museum somewhere. Because the film from the early 70s is so popular and so ingrained in people's memories, uh, it was really, you know, the, you have a couple of choices, you know, I mean, but either way, you have to divert um, as radically as possible away from the film. Um, and the best way to do that is to stick with um, the author's intention. You know? If anybody can be um, considered an artist in this industry, um, in this business or in this work, it's Tim. He's without question one of the few um, that I believe is a real artist and in fact uh, one of the few human beings that I that uh, can actually be called a, a genius and a visionary